life and watch Netflix. And you have a table where we put our stuff. <laughs> yeah. Crystal doesn't like it, but it's useful. <laughs> so um, the boys contacted us about coming back. Um, I guess we talked about it before they left that they would want to come back next year, and so we told them that they'd always be welcome to come back. And then um, I think Eduardo's mom told me at least six months before that, yeah. that he was going to come. And then Martin said that he wanted to come, but he just had to figure out some grade yeah. stuff and some extra schoolwork that he had to do. <clears throat> so we knew he wanted to come back, but we had to wait until he was um, finished with all his schoolwork. And then we found out about two weeks before he came that he was coming back. Yeah, we wanted them back. Um, we actually had tried to plan a trip to Ecuador to visit them and their families and uh, bought plane tickets and then it fell through. So we had to get rid of our plane tickets, but we're hoping to do that again someday. Um, but yeah, we wanted them back. They're like our family. They're like my other sons and brothers that <laughs> these guys have never had, so. Okay, so he's Lance. He's our brother, the older one. He is red hair, red beard. He's funny, and he looks very good. Yeah, cute. Very nice, very soft. When the mom doesn't cook, someone has to step up. So he's a man. That person over there that is not the camera is his, gir his girlfriend. She's okay. <laughs> She's nice. <laughs> so this is my brother Shu. Uh, he's seven, right? Yep. Here's seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's very funny. We have fun all the afternoon because he sleeps early, and we always fight. Sometimes he cries because I always win. <laughs> no, so, you want me to. No. Yes. And uh, he always play Wii all the time. So if we want to use the TV, it's, it's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that you've learned from them, either about their culture or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, they're yeah, they're always they're always comparing here and Ecuador yeah. and um, some things that they like about here mm -hmm. that they don't like about Ecuador, like the weather. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I mean, I, I try to learn geography because obviously I'm horrible at it. Because Eduardo always makes fun of me because I don't know where anything is, so he always tries to teach me that. Last, last year that I came, that I came here, and you know it was pretty fun to be here with them, and, and also I like this city. The weather is pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are, you know, in, in Wakefield it's pretty hot every day. Hundred and forty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I decided to come back, so I told to my parents that I wanted to be here again, mm -hmm. and they said yes. But first, you need to pass all your all your exams. But I failed two of them, so that's why I came late. <laughs> you know, I am very bad at math and physics. Okay. And yeah, and then I mean, all the year that we wasn't here. Uh, we were always talking and texting each other, mm -hmm. FaceTime. So it was like, uh, you know, a connection or something like that. It's okay. like a, your second family. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have an American family. So we can come here whenever we want and <laughs> and we will know that Crystal will be here for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the experience that you've been, been here is like unique. You cannot compare that to anything else, so it's something that you have to be thankful for. And also, it's like I learned how to wash my clothes <laughs> and wash the dishes <laughs> because I don't do that in Ecuador because they have helpers. So you know. Yeah, and to it's keep good to learn new things every day. To keep my room clean, uh, if I'm going yeah. to eat, 
Okay, this is my room. As you see, it's very, it's very clean. I have the ukulele and guitar because they play both. I have a fan because at night it's very hot. A TV and a PlayStation so we can have fun. And yeah, that's it. It's very clean. I'm a very clean person. I don't have really clothes, as you can notice. So. You have to be proud of me, mom, if you see this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my room. Uh, that's my bed. I'm not very good, you know, doing this. I'm very bad. <laughs> it's my second time cleaning my bed. So that's the table where I do homework. Uh, those are my suitcase. I have a window I, I can open when it's hot here. Also you have a lamp, if I don't want, you know, that light turn on. And I have a fan if I'm hot, trash in, and that's it. The best part for me is that I have a new family here. And also they help us when we don't understand uh, some words. But first, sometimes they laugh at us. <laughs> but then uh, they try to explain what it means so that's that's for you to learn English so you know a we learn here and at TLC so it's like two schools at the time yeah that's good uh, you also learn how the people live outside the country because the cultures are very different they uh, the food is just one part but they also like the in the afternoon they spend time together, they play together, they like talk and eat together and all that stuff, blah blah. Uh, yeah, it's true they can make fun of you when you can pronounce something correctly. <laughs> like Martin can pronounce Jim and yeah, he's on the side of him. <laughs> but it's okay because she like improved him to learn the word and how you say it correctly. So for me, the experience, um, especially with these guys, was it was just really good because they, it's like we have another family. And even with their families, their moms and dads, um, they're always so um, open with it. Like, come and see us, come and visit us. And you always have a home in Ecuador. You always have a place to stay and you're our family. And, and this time around, they've been very, like, but we're not even worried about our boys because we know that you're taking care of them. We know that we know that you love them and you're gonna take care of them. And so it's been fun that way too. Like they used to call and check up and how are they doing? And this time it's been so um, so much more like we're not worried. You, yeah, you've got it. <laughs> so so it's just fun to have that sort of extended family, and it um, in a way makes the world a smaller place. Yeah, the first year I had like three calls from my mom every day, and now it's just like one a week. Yeah, in the whole in these two months, she just like called me three times <laughs> just to order her stuff. Yeah, like she needs makeup or clothes, not to see how I am because she knows I'm good. Okay. So yeah, it's, she is more confident. Okay. Okay.